Okay, so I've already applied a little bit of my foundation, which is for today is the L'Oreal True Match. And for my eyebrows, I've just been really lazy and I've been using this Rimmel one and the color is dark brown. And next, I'm going to take a 217 and a white matte shadow. In this case, I'm using Gesso by MAC and this is Gesso by MAC right here. It's just a matte white and with my blending brush, I'm going to apply this under my brow. I'm also going to go in here. Next I'm going to take a 224 by MAC and this color Bitter. And Bitter is this lime green here. So I'm going to take Bitter with my 224 and start applying this to my crease. And if you tilt your head back a little bit, it's easier to pack on the color right at the crease and blend the edges. You can really see how it's stronger at the crease and the rest is just faded. So on the lid, I took this pigment, and this pigment, I bought it in Mexico. So I'm going to take my brush and wet it. And I'm going to start packing this on my lids. At first, I pack it on a little wet, and then I go back and pick up a little more shadow and set it with, with, the, own, with the same pigment. Now I'm going to take my 217 that I used for my highlight and try to blend out these edges before it's too late just so that they're not as noticeable. It really does make a difference. So I'm going to set aside this dirty 217 which I've been using to blend. I'm going to set it aside and I'm, I am going to go back because I'm going to take a, a dark royal, not royal blue, a dark a navy blue color in the outer corner. So I'm going to set that aside and um, it'll still be useful for the royal blue. But right now um, I need to blend out right here where there's like this really harsh line between the blended out crease and the green. There's a harsh line. And the brush that's perfect for this is the 217 because it's small enough to fit in there. And um, I don't want to use a big fluffy brush because it's not as stiff. So in order to blend quickly and efficiently, I have to take this 217. And I'm only going to go on the very edge of that turquoise. And it's not even turquoise. It's what this blue became when I blended it out. So I'm going to go on the edge. And with hardly any effort at all, the turquoise is going to blend right into the lime green. And this is because this, this brush is clean, so it's just blending that edge. It's not even um, applying any more shadow. I know a lot of people like to reapply shadow, reapply shadow, and then they kind of like apply the green and then the blue and the green and the blue and the blue until they until they blend into each other but if you use cleaner brushes you don't have to apply that much shadow you just blend the lines with a clean brush okay so for now I'm gonna leave off right there and I'm gonna go ahead and work on my outer color um, and this color is gonna be uh, Deep Truth by MAC and Deep Truth is a dark navy blue with a little bit of a sheen to it so I'm gonna load up that Deep Truth on my 217 and I'm going to first start packing it on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm not swiping. I'm just taking it, concentrating it in my outer corner. 
and as I work it in onto the other color I'm, I'm taking it with less shadow so first in the outer corner and then tap it a couple of times over the blue pick up some more put it in the outer corner and tap it a little onto the blue as well and that'll give you a faded effect without really having to blend so much because you're already you're applying the color strategically so that it can start blending for you and you don't really mess with that pigment because pigments can uh, fall off the, the lid and gently working it up a little onto my crease now with our cleaner 217, which we use just to blend out in here, we're going to now use it to blend the edges. If I take that one 217 um, that I was just using to apply it, it's going to spread the color up too high. So I'm better off using this one to blend it so that the seams blend into each other instead of uh, me um, adding too much blue to the look. So for now I want this line here to disappear, so I'm going to go around that. So I'm just going back with the bitter color and reapplying it up here just so that I can blend that blue and next I'm gonna go into a liquid liner this is one by L'Oreal and I'm just gonna do a thin line because I'm gonna apply false lashes so I need to put a liner underneath that I'm not doing any serious flick or anything like that, just the tiniest flick ever, not even noticeable. So now I'm going to take my lash, and this is the, what is this, it's Miss Adoro number 117, and I'm going to place it right at the center of my eye, and what I do is I look at the end of the lash, so the outer corner of the lash, put it sort of where the outer corner of my eye is, and then place the center in place. Then I'm going to leave it for a couple of seconds just because I want the center to really stick before I start messing with the ends. And um, probably about 15 seconds will be good. And then turn around my tweezers. Really push it down so that it's not, um, there's no gaps between the fake lashes and my lashes. So I really want to push it down so that it's sitting right right on top of the natural lash line and then I'm going to take my tweezers and grab the end and push it in then grab the other one and also push it in right on top of my lashes and we're going to leave those alone so that the glue can dry and next we're going to go on to concealer the concealer I'm going to be using is MAX NC30 Studio Finish Concealer Next thing I did for that makeup was I took this pencil, which is fascinating, and I ran it a little in here and all under my eye. So start in there and then run it under your eyes. You want the line to be as thick as basically the pencil, the, the point of the pencil. And then I'm going to take a 239 by MAC. And I'm going to soften it and go si blend side to side over that because we don't want it to be chalky 
or chunky or anything like that. We just want it to blend into the skin. And then with the same pencil, I'm just going to work this inner corner. And over the top of that, I'm going to apply gesso, but I'm going to be very light-handed with it. So I'm going to take my matte white, and I'm going to start in the inner corner. And then I'm blending along the bottom. And this is really simple because you already have that pencil there, so the shadow will cling mostly to the pencil. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mascara. This is my favorite mascara. It's Revlon's Grow Luscious by Fabulash. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off my face, and once I do that, then I'll go back and cover the glue on my lashes. So, I'm going to take a Graftobian powder, which this Graftobian palette has eight colors, but they're all HD. So, they, they reflect light for HD cameras, and that way they look flawless. So, I'm going to take it on the side, find my hollow, place my brush, and flick up. Once I have a nice coat of bronzer on the bottom part of my cheek area, then I start buffing the top part so that it can fade, but it's darkest down here. So I just start swirling it. I always make sure that the bottom part is even on both sides. So what I find useful is to first find a lipstick that goes good with my eyeshadow and then a blush that ties the whole thing together. So in that video that I did for my summer favorites, I used the Laura Mercier um, Rose Quartz and I love this color. So this is what it looks like. It's a limited edition. I hope they still have it. I'm, I think I'm going to go get myself a backup of it. So after I apply my lipstick, then I decide what blush I want to go for because it's easier to hold your blush and be like, okay, this looks good. So I have um, this little case with... Uh, some blushes and stuff like that and I depotted my max pink swoon and I have it in here it fits and I got this at Michaels and for me traveling and carrying my makeup with me when I do makeup it just things like this just work really well with me because I know my blushes aren't gonna break um, and sometimes in the MAC palettes they do tend to break I'm gonna take a little bit of pink swoon with my same Ben Nye brush I wash my brushes every day so I don't have a problem with doing blush one day and then using this brush again tomorrow because I do wash my brushes every day and when you use dirty brushes not only are you contaminating your skin but you're getting you know you're not getting the full um, the real color of your blush or whatever it is that you're applying and Sometimes I'll go over the sides with my powder. And next I took a little bit of my favorite highlighter which is the Baked Bronzer 129 Tiki by Hard Candy. You can find it at Walmart. I've said it before. This is my favorite. I take it on the side of my brush and apply it to the tops of my cheek. the top of the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow and then I'm gonna take my powder brush 
and blend it in and as you can see this gives the prettiest sheen ever um, I've I also like to take this since I don't really like a shimmery highlight I like to take it on my finger and apply it just right under the arch of my brow so just right there just so that the light can pick up a little bit of a sheen but it's not frosty and I'm gonna give my eyebrows a comb to make sure that nothing is no shadow sitting on them I'm gonna touch up my liquid liner and then apply mascara and immediately before my mascara even dries I pinch them together and if you want you can add a gloss um, I don't feel that this lipstick needs it, but you can add a gloss if you want. I'm not going to. Um, so basically, this is the finished look. And um, for the, I think it's Ya Ya Mia, uh, Ya Na Mia, something like that. I can't remember, and I don't have my laptop in this room with me. But thank you so much for requesting this look. I'm so glad you liked it. I think you asked for it twice already. Um, so I just had to go ahead and record it for you. Um, thank you so much for asking me. And I really hope you like it, and I hope you find this tutorial useful. And um, any other requests that you guys have, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just click on the subscribe button ab above this video. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.